Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are fine. I hope you guys are okay. So today we are going to make I'm going to make another video about your blue team uh, operations and tools. Uh, today we are going to see how to configure aliases and the firewall rules. Alright, so we have already our set up here with our PFSense and with two virtual machines, Windows 10 I just installed and Ubuntu also I just installed. So let's start. Uh, first, let's go to aliases and then here I have already URL and you guys will understand later. So for the aliases we can use to add IP ports or URLs or hosts, right? Example, we are going to add a new one here. So when we add a alias actually uh, we have to give it a name a description a type it it is a host a network a port or an url or url and ports okay and then here we have to enter the ip or fqdn and we can add multiple hosts or multiple uh, URLs or ports, see, and we can just keep adding it how many as we, we wish. So, the first thing I'm going to do, we are going to add a port here, okay? And let's say port ports. A lot. A lot. Alright, so uh, these ports are allowed on the LAN, and then we are going to use ports first 21 FTP, and the second one 22 uh, SSH uh, 23, no, 25 or SSP. Uh, 53 DNS. Remember, remember to add a DNS port because the internet is not going to work. Okay, if you don't do that, if you don't give permission for the DNS port, you don't have access to the internet. All right, so let's add a new one 80. The same thing, we have to add this port because the services run here. And we turn SMTP and then 443 HTTPS. Okay, we are done here. Save it. All right. So here is a thing. A thing. Uh, we just want to apply changes right now. Okay. And we have this button to add. As you guys saw, I can add. Or I can import a file. Okay, but we're not going to do that. So here the, in the URLs, I just added a GitHub uh, WhatsApp. I was making a video in Portuguese, so I didn't change anything. So uh, actually, here is WhatsApp. All right, and this is a. Uh, Alias to block WhatsApp access. All right, so I will save it, and this is all the C CDR from WhatsApp, CIDR from WhatsApp, all the IP addresses. All right, well, perfect. We're done with the first one. Let's do an IP address. Let's say um, admin. Hosts okay. and then 
we can add multiple hosts. Okay, so 10.0.0.4.12. And let's say this is my Windows 10 machine. So let's say I'm in uh, Windows 1 right here. Windows 10. One. Windows 10. Score one. Then add this one to ten dot zero to fifteen and Ubuntu one. Okay, so let's save it. All right, apply chance. So here we can block things or we can allow this this IPs to access the internet. Okay, so. You can do that also if you are else just right here if you guys it's for the same thing you just type url ips and then you enter the ip address so let's go save it okay and let's apply even i didn't change anything okay ip ports and urls perfect sure now another thing is we are going to we have to create rules all right so Let's enter into the rules. Here are the one, right? So we'll A M. Uh, and here we have few button, buttons. So this first add with the showing up. We are going to add a rule over here, above everything else. And to the down, the last rule will be that. One first a uh, very important thing pfSense rules are written from the top to the bottom not in different ways so if you have a rule here for you are going to block port 80 and you have another rule above that that allow uh, um, uh, traffic on the port 80 it's not going to block it's going to allow it and it's going to work Okay, so first we have to take, uh, we have to select LAN, all right, and here we have two ports, two things already. So this, it's from, it's native from PFSense. So for me to have access into the interface, the port 80, and normally port 22 also, it's allowed in native mode, okay, I cannot change it. And here we have two ports, the full allow uh, LAN, right, IPv4, any rule, and here it is the full allow LAN IPv6, so any rule. So we are going to disable it, and you guys are going to see what's going to happen. Google.com, we have no internet no more. Why is that? Because we just disable the rules that give us permission to access the internet. Okay? So now we are going to add a new role and then we are going to select pass that's going to allow the connection, allow the traffic, and then the target will be the LAN interface on IPv4 and IPv6. So here is many protocols right we have many protocols you can choose tcp UDP, tcp UDP, icmp esp ah gre eoip ipv6 egmp and many others ospf and car right so we are going to allow tcp and udp only why i don't want any host pinging right so I'm not going to allow ICMP protocol because I don't want people pinging on my hosts. Okay, uh, perfect. In the source, if you select invert match, well, it's pretty simple, right? It's, pretty, it's very easy to understand. It's going to invert the match. It means if I select anything, something here, it's going to invert and do the reverse process to another things. So to the LAN net, we are going to select it and port, we are going to do good others 
and then here we can add some custom. Okay, now uh, remember we just created a alias for ports. If we just enter here, ports allowed. Done. And actually, sorry, here's any to any where the source, yeah, the source is from it from your machine to the external connection. Okay. So here we are going to say any and then we are going to use other. In the other we are just enter ports allowed. It means those ports will allow us to have connection with internet. Okay? I'm going to create a log and then allowed. Uh, these ports are allowed in the log. Yeah, okay. So here we have some advanced options that I'm going to that because you guys can check it by yourselves. So let's save it and we are going to apply. So it's applied. Now let's try it allow. Um, here we have the ports we allow 21, 22, 25, 53, 80, 110, 443. Let's see if we can get a connection. Yeah, now we have connection with uh, the internet. I can enter anytime.com. Okay. Uh, and a very important thing I am going to block WhatsApp connection. So I'm going to make a simple text where WhatsApp.com. Let's see. Uh, yeah, looks like we cannot. This is actually, or I did something wrong. Uh, web, what's up? Let me see something here. Yeah, we can access it. Okay, so now we are going back there, and then we are going to create another rule. Right, so here, block and Guys, block and the reject it's almost the same right so block is going to keep keep going keep going to give you the message oh could do it or timeout and reject is just going to reject the connection okay it's not going to anyway not even loading the page all right so i'm going to block it on ipv4 and ipv6 Protocol. I'm just select CP. I don't need UDP because UDP for streaming, my you know. And the LAN net. Okay, display. Uh, let me see. Um, here other, and then let me see what's up if I have that. Oh, I don't have this. Why I don't have this? Let me see something. Actually, yeah, it should be what's up here. So let me back there and boot. Learn network, sorry. Uh, let's create another block. Learn IPv4 and IPv6 protocol. TCP, TCP protocol, and then source any. Uh, yeah, can be any. No, just one. Any to any, and then here a single host or alias, and then here we can enter WhatsApp. Okay, and here we can select any too. Let's make love. Uh, what? Block. What's up? Okay. So let's save it and let's apply it. So remember that I told you guys if we this come to the bottom, it's not going to to read by the time that it was put there but from the top to the bottom if i move this to up 
the WhatsApp is not going to be blocked. So I'm going to do like this because first it's going to read the rule I created for WhatsApp. You guys see this how many IP addresses are there. So yeah, it's going to block WhatsApp and then it's going to read the another rule that it's port allows. So let's see again if it's working. Yeah. Just a second. Let me see if I have a internet connection. Yes, I do have. Then private window. Web. WhatsApp. Boom. So you see, and it's not going to work because we just blocked the IPs, right? So WhatsApp, it's not going to work in any machine. Like here, I'm going to use this Windows 10. Web WhatsApp, save, set, and load it. And it's not going to allow either. Okay, we can surface on the internet, we can do whatever we want, but WhatsApp is not going to be loaded. And it's going to give us a timeout because it was not able to connect. Right? Web dot here. Time it out. So we don't have connection to with WhatsApp no more. And it works for any website, right? If you block AWS, Azure, or like Google or Chat GTP, GT now it's very famous, or any other like personally Facebook, we can add the CIDR from Facebook. And then Facebook is not going to work on our local network, okay? Or if we can add to the run the one also, so the guys not connect using our internet on their personal devices, okay? So it's very simple. It was very easy, okay? Uh, so that's it. It still keep going, but it's not going to because. There is no permission to do that. Okay, so I'm going I'm going to stop it here. And it, it's working. Okay, so that's it for now, guys. Thanks a lot for watching my videos. If you like it, give me a like. If you are not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. And well, see you guys in another video.